All right, now we've um, finished the Photoshop work. We're going to open up Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing we do is create a new file. So file new. And at this point, we want to make sure that the units, once again, is in millimeters. And our width is 300 and our height is 100. Once again, representing the piece of acrylic that you are given for the blade part for your cake slicer. So click OK and you can now see appearing this 300 by 100 template. Let's now bring in the uh, image that you had prepared earlier in Photoshop. So file, open, uh, go find it. There it is there, shot. And you can see it now coming onto the screen. Now, when you first bring it in, uh, if you click onto it, you might get these editing handles. Uh, if you click onto it, nothing happens. If you look up here in the top left corner, there are two selection tools, the standard selection tool and the direct. If you click on the direct one, you'll see that you don't have that ability to edit. So make sure you're on the standard selection tool. And then what we're going to do is just basically stretch this out um, into the corner so that we get the maximum amount of plastic covered, so to speak. Now we can go over the edges as well to stretch it out. I'm going to go right out, oops, I'll pull it right out here. And look, don't be too worried about its um, size and what it looks like yet. And you can see the, that black line is the 300 by 100 uh, piece of plastic sitting in behind there, so I might make it a bit wider still, it's going to be a bit skinny otherwise. And uh, that will probably that will probably do something like that. Okay, so now we need to get Adobe Illustrator to um, basically clean this up and to make it into what we call a vector image. At the moment, as you can see, this image is just a whole lot of um, dots, and that's why all this pixelization is happening. Um, the CNC machine or the laser doesn't understand. Uh, how to follow dots. What it does understand is how to follow what we call a vector graphic, which is basically, imagine a line traced right around the outside of all this, and that line has magnitude and direction. So to convert this into a vector graphic, while it's still selected, come up to Object, come down to Image Trace Make. And then straight away you can see that it's um, cleaned up the image quite considerably changed a bit of it so we do have some ability to edit what we see here. Um, what I'll get you to do is beside the preset default there's an image trace panel which I open that by clicking into it and the first thing I'll get you to do is if it's not already done is to expand the advanced column here and come down and very very important that you must click on the ignore white button. If you don't click on that uh, your file won't work later on, it's extremely important. What you can do then is with these threshold, paths, corners and noise, muck around with these um, and you can see straight away some of the changes that instantly happen to your image. I'm trying to get a bit more of a, um, what I just did there with the trigger and so on and the paths, I'm just going to see what happens. There's a bit more like what I was probably after before, a bit more definition, corners and noise. I'm not even sure what noise does. Oh, okay, I'll we'll back down there again for noise. And look, that'll do me. Um, oh, it's actually a bit ugly there, isn't it? Let's see if get rid of that bit of noise. Oh, that's probably a little bit better. That'll probably do me. So that's the part that's going to be the blade, and the rest can be cut out by the laser. Uh, corners. What's it going to do if I do that? Not much. Uh, let's drop it back a bit. It's a bit more stylized. That's probably me about there, I reckon. That'll do for me. Alright, so if we um, are happy with that shape, we then uh, make it a vector graphic by clicking on this button up here, the expand button. Uh, as you do that, you'll notice you get these little blue dots uh, all around the outside and any internal um, loops and so on. That is now what we call uh, a vector. And if I try to click and drag on that, you can see that it's actually got the outline uh, only. That's the file path that the CNC machine or the laser is going to understand. So what we'll do now, we'll save this uh, as what we call an EPS file. So let's go File, Save As, and you must change the file type to uh, EPS, Illustrator EPS. 
uh, give it a name, it's called One Shot. Click on Save, and at this point, really, really important that under Format, you change it to None, and turn off Fonts, turn off Include, this one we can't change, and then click OK. If you don't do that stage, you'll end up with squares on your page. All right, let's check to see whether or not this has actually um, worked. So you won't be able to do this, but this is what it looks like with the software on that connects to the laser. So I'll just bring that software up, hopefully. There it is. I'm going to go import data, and I'm going to go find that shot EPS. There it is there. And if I just bring it down, you can see there's the actual shape. And then I can uh, just get rid of these lines here, make it the right size, and it'll cut that out. So that's kind of half the done. That's the blade done. Um, we also want to put some handles on this. So we're going to basically um, make another uh, piece of acrylic to go over the top of here to thicken this up to make this handle quite thick. Um, so to do that, we're going to go back to the Illustrator file. And I'm going to save this uh, now as handle. So file save as but not uh, as an EPS file but as an illustrator file and I'm going to call this one uh, shot handle so we're drawing the handle now click on save I hope click on save yep and oh okay yep uh, that's okay click okay to all that and then I'm going to open that handle uh, I don't think that one's open so where are we? Shot handle, I called it, didn't I? Where are we? Uh, shot handle EPS. Uh, I've lost it. Shotgun handle. No, I've gone crazy. Handle. Shot handle AI, there we are. Ah, it's already open. Ah, oh, well, okay. So, basically, what we're going to do now is we want to get rid of this part of the uh, shotgun and just leave us with the handle here. To do that we need to change the selection tool from the standard one to the one beside on the right hand side called direct selection tool and that allows us to then put a box around all those um, anchors. Um, it's highlighted them. Once I hit the delete button you'll see that a lot of that anchor then disappears. I might get rid of this one as well. I'll click onto it, hit delete. Uh, I'll click on this one as well, hit delete. And then there might be some stray paths there. I might just see if I can select those, hit delete. Uh, I can zoom in if I wanted to and delete all those. But that's okay. We don't need that path there. Or that one there. Okay, and now I can basically um, go through a similar process to make this another EPS file. At the moment, this appears to be an EPS file but if you have a close look the blue line goes around 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 but that stops here so there's actually no vector going across the handle here which means um, this will not cut across there when it goes to the laser so what we have to do or well, the easiest way to solve that problem is make this back into a picture and then just re-vectorize it again and that's really simple all we need to do is with the selection tool I select the um, handle there, come up to object, come down halfway down through the object toolbox and go to rasterize which basically means it's going to make it into a picture again. Click on OK and it makes it back into a picture, not a vector graphic but now dots again and then we just do the exact same procedure that we did before to make it into a vector again. Object, image trace, make, make sure you click on ignore white, I'm not going to touch any of those things there. Click on to expand, and now you can see the blue dot in the middle there, which has allowed that path to come across. And the last thing to do then is go File, Save As, and Shotgun Handle, but this time I'm going to save as an EPS file. There it is, Shot Handle, EPS, click on Save. Wait for the box to come up. Make sure it's changed from TIFF to None. Make sure everything that can be unchecked is unchecked. Click OK and we'll just test that, we'll show you I'll go File New, Import Data and what was it called? Shot Handle again, there it is, Shot Handle and we'll pull it down, you can see there's a closed loop that we can now use for the laser. Okay.